Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Legends Arceus is finally starting to release everywhere around the world. Very excited for you all to get into your playthroughs. But that brings us to today's video and I am going to share with you some tips and hints for your own playthroughs to hopefully make it a little bit easier. I've already played over 80 hours of the game. I've completed 100% and it is absolutely epic. I'm very excited to share my experiences with you and hear all about yours when you start your journeys. But the one thing I would say before getting into this video today is it would have been a lot easier if I'd had some hints and tips myself for my own playthrough. And that's the reason why we're putting this video together today, because I feel like sharing these tips will make things a lot easier for you and probably give you a bit more of an enjoyable experience. Don't worry, though, if you're worried about spoilers in regards to storylines and specific Pokemon in the game. I won't be touching on any of those, so it's going to be very spoiler like I'm just going to be talking about certain things that are going to help you through your playthrough so jumping in with number one the main goal of the game is catching pokemon so i would advise you do exactly this catch everything battle everything that you see it's going to mean later on your playthrough when you get to post game or potentially before that that you're not going to have to backtrack and kind of go back and get these pokemon moving on to number two and that is research tasks so each pokemon does have a kind of criteria set criteria every Pokemon is different on what their criteria is it can range from battling them catching them defeating them feeding them you have to check out each and every one of your own Pokemon's different criterias to make sure that you can kind of fulfill those tasks to get each Pokemon to a level of 10 so research task to 10 that will then register in them in the Pokedex it's important to know these different criteria because it means that you're going to be able to kind of get them to 10 and potentially say level or evolve that Pokemon and then you don't need to worry about it anymore and doing this through your playthrough again is a little tip that I wish I'd done through my playthrough just to save a little bit of time in the post game to kind of speed things up. The next tip is evolutions have changed in Legends Arceus to what we kind of have had them before in previous mainstream titles. In Legends Arceus you now have the option to go in and specifically evolve a Pokemon whenever you want. When it hits a level cap to evolve at you're going to see the Pokemon's kind of silhouette starts to glow and that will indicate that it it is ready to evolve so you can go into that pokemon in your kind of summary screen and you can choose to evolve it whenever you want now this ties back to our last point about the research tasks before evolving any pokemon i would always check that you've got it to a level of 10 in the research tasks just to make sure that you've completed because if it's especially if it's a rarer pokemon that you're going to find it very difficult to catch again if you level it up if you evolve it before you get to that research task of 10 it's going to mean that you're going to have to go back and catch that pokemon again and that can really really slow things down so just make sure you check that before you evolve a pokemon this next one is just a little bit of a tip to help you out and make sure you are aware of it before you go into your playthrough and that is teaching moves uh, to your pokemon they don't automatically learn a new move so it won't be an option where it'll come up like in previous pokemon games and say do you want to overwrite a current move it will just come up with a message saying that this pokemon when it's leveled up can learn a new move now to access that new move you will have to go into the summary screen you have to go into the actual pokemon and then change moves in that screen you're going to be able to select any of the moves that that pokemon has learned up to that point up to its level that it's currently at and you're going to be able to teach it those moves and this can be done anywhere this can be done in any of the areas around the game it's a really nice facility that we've got access to now and something that you want to take advantage of when you're playing through these games this moves on to our next tip and this is all about the new agile and strong type attacks that we've we've had teased in trailers over the time now yeah you can they will change priority of how often a pokemon will move depending on which uh, agile or strong attack you use now to see the move order of pokemon when you engage in a battle you can press the y button and that will give you a specific list and then you can click into a move to select if it's agile or select if it's strong and it will change the list order showing you how often you will move and how often the other pokemon will move giving you an idea to kind of get some strategy behind which option will be best especially against maybe a tougher opponent just making sure that you are aware of this feature 
it is on the screen but it's something that I missed and didn't pick up on until very late in my playthrough and it would have been very handy in some of the early stages. Next up we're going to talk about materials because this is again probably one of the biggest parts of the game is collecting materials. You're going to find them throughout each region. Just make sure again like the Pokemon that you're picking everything up that you see. If you see trees with anything in them like hanging in the trees make sure that you're using your Pokemon to knock those items out collect them any crystal like formations that you're seeing the red black blue ones anything like that make sure your Pokemon are hitting into them and you're collecting those items any items that you see lying around the floor when you're running around make sure you just pick them up because you're going to need those to craft other items with that are very useful throughout your playthrough and this brings us on to our next point which is the storage for these items now your satchel that you're going to be able to carry things round in is only limited to a certain amount of items meaning if you don't manage this you could potentially have to miss out on a rare item uh, especially if it's a kind of a pickup item from a pokemon battle you you don't get that item or you have to discard some other items to pick that one up so managing your satchel is super important the handy thing is in your home in in jubilife city you're going to have a box a black box that you can go to that you can store items in and these boxes are going to be dotted around each individual area that you're going to visit in legends arceus in the campsite so just make sure you're taking advantage of these boxes when you visit a new area just make sure you go up to them kind of clear out any items that you don't necessarily need so you have as empty a satchel as possible to go and explore the area to gather new items and make sure that you're not missing out on anything. There is a NPC character as well in Jubilife Village you'll be able to go to in the Galaxy Headquarters. He will give you extra space in your satchel. He'll charge you for this. I got up to a very high amount of uh, paying him for extra spaces and I still haven't capped it out yet. It's something I will do, but if you do need extra spaces, just make sure that you've got enough money to be able to do that. And that brings us on to our next point nice and smoothly because it is talking about money. You can buy a lot of items throughout the game as you play through. Obviously, useful items or what you think are useful items when most of the time you don't really need to buy those. You can search new areas or search past areas again. And these items will always constantly respawn as soon as you go into a new area. The items that you took from that area before will all respawn again uh, so you'll be able to go back in and collect these items to craft the more useful items that you're going to need like the the pokeballs and healing items and things like that that you're going to use and need through your playthrough so kind of lay off trying to buy things unnecessarily to keep your money for more important items that are definitely going to pop up through your playthrough later on now this next one kind of ties into that first point which is catching pokemon upgrading your pokedex there is a star ranking system in the game as well and for so many uh, Pokedex entries and research tasks that you complete you're going to get a certain amount of points which will mean that you get a star rating these range from 1 to 10 uh, and you're going to need these throughout the game and you're going to need to essentially get 10 in the end to actually complete the game uh, overall uh, but one of the things to do while you're progressing through the game is to make sure that you're kind of keeping up with these because getting certain star ratings uh, will unlock different items and give you different crafting recipes that are going to be very very helpful for your playthrough so just make sure that you're not slipping on those skipping bits of the game because you're going to have to really go back at some point and probably do those uh, to make sure you can kind of progress at a later stage the other thing is they work a little bit like gym badges so if you get a certain star rating then pokemon over a certain level will start to obey you it means later on in your playthrough if you're catching maybe higher level alpha pokemon somehow then if you catch them they're not going to be able to obey you if your star rating isn't high enough next one is quite interesting it is having your volume on having some headphones on or just having the volume on when you're playing this game because for one the music is absolutely epic it's immersive it makes the whole experience as you would imagine uh very enjoyable uh the music to this game like i say is epic so i the, for one reason alone i wouldn't want to have the volume up just for that but the other reason is quite important there is a new method of shiny hunting in these games and uh every time a shiny spawn pops up in an area when you when you go in and spawns you will hear a certain jingle so you want to have your volume on you want to be listening out for that because essentially when that 
shiny spawn pops up and you hear the jingle you're gonna have a shiny in the area of vicinity where you are in the game that's going to allow you to kind of go and find it without the volume on you could miss that because you don't need to be looking at the pokemon for it to spawn uh, so just not to miss out on it have the volume on and obviously it does make for a way more enjoyable experience as well next one there is an auto save feature built into these games now if you're worried about missing out on shinies i would probably advise you to turn this feature off it is in the settings you can go in and just disable it uh, but there are caveats to that uh, for instance i had a long run of trying to fill my pokedex uh, whereas did about seven hours of gameplay and my game crashed and i lost seven hours and because i had the auto save off i i literally genuinely lost seven hours of progress and it was the most infuriating thing so to avoid that maybe until post game keep your auto saves on but at the end of the day it is up to you if anything goes wrong with your switch if it powers off if you lose i don't know anything goes wrong the game crashes then you're going to lose a lot of progress potentially whereas with auto saves on which i wish i had on in that situation uh, i wouldn't have had to kind of go through the same process again and repeat seven hours of of what i've just been doing and the final one we're going to talk about is space time distortions it's a new feature in these games and they're going to start to pop up after you progress to a certain stage in your playthrough you will undoubtedly notice them when they do spawn in an area and it's just to make sure when they do pop up in an area that you're in make sure you go and visit them they house and hold some very rare pokemon that you can't get anywhere else and items as well that are going to be so useful in helping your progress through this game so just make sure they are a big rainbow looking dome when they appear just make sure you hop into them and have a lot of fun when you're doing it okay friends well that that about wraps up everything that i think is going to be useful there are a lot of things in here obviously i've skimmed over a lot of stuff because i don't want to cause too many spoilers for those of you that are kind of wanting to stay at least a little bit spoiler free going into your playthrough i will just say though that you're in for an absolute treat with these games they are epic uh, if i look a little bit tired it's because i've been grinding non-stop these games playing a lot and we're going to have a lot of content covering much more in detail a lot of these kind of things that you're going to find in game uh, and going over a lot of details about things that i found in game myself uh, guides and things like that so we've got lots of content planned on the channel so if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the guides when they come out. If you've enjoyed the video as well, consider dropping a like. It takes two seconds and it really does help the video. But hope you found this useful, friends. I just want to wish you all the best with your playthrough. Hope you enjoy it. I know you are. I honestly have to say these are the... This has been the most epic pokemon game that i've ever played in my entire time playing pokemon since the red blue and yellow days and it feels like a very kind of significant step forward in the pokemon franchise so i hope you enjoy it friends do let me know your thoughts down below are you excited for it if you haven't started it yet or how you are finding it if you have already started your playthrough would love to hear and also let me know if any of the tips in this guide today have been useful have fun friends and i will see you very soon for another video on the channel so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye